What's going on, people? Listen, I got to make this video. I've been meaning to make this video for the past, I say, couple of weeks because I've been noticing a trend on social media, a trend that a lot of unbelievers, I'm going to call them unbelievers because I don't think a true believer that knows the scripture would make all of these videos just for views. Now, you guys are probably wondering, what is he talking about? Right? What type of trend are you talking about, fearless? I'm talking about all of these videos that's being made on YouTube of these people allegedly going to hell. You see all of these titles, I've been to hell and back. I died and went to hell. I don't believe that. Now you see the scripture in back of me. And that's why I say no true believer will say that unless they had a near death experience. Okay, now if you had a near death experience where you have not yet died, right? I can say you might have had a glimpse or maybe a vision or maybe you might have hallucinated. But I just don't see all of these people going to hell. You're able to walk through hell's gates and see the lake and see the torment and feel the flames, the heat and then able to walk right out of hell doors to come back and talk about it. Now you guys remember the scripture about the rich man and Lazarus, how they both died, the rich man and Lazarus. And the Bible says in hell is where he lifted his eyes being tormented. Now the rich man wanted to send Lazarus back to his brothers to warn them that this place is real. And Abraham responded and said, if they cannot believe the prophets, how are they gonna believe someone that came back from the dead? And yet you have all of these videos on YouTube of these people saying, I died and went to hell. You guys are having interviews and you're getting all these views and there's nothing wrong with views because that's the purpose of coming on your YouTube. But you're going to have gullible people out there that will be misled to believe. And it's a fear tactic. It's a fear tactic thinking that if I make a video and give a false testimony according to the Bible, you now become a false witness. Okay. And there's a place, a real place for false witnesses, for a false witness that say, I died and went to hell and God spoke to me. You're lying. I don't believe that. Now the Bible says it is appointed man wants to die. And after that, after you depart this life, the judgment, you will be judged. There's no way that you will come out of hell. There's no revolving doors in hell. So stop telling that fairy tale, deceiving people for views. There are no revolving doors in hell because if you enter hell, why did Lucifer let you out being as raggedy and as wicked as you were? There's no second chances. That's a lie from the very pits of hell. There are no second chances. Once you enter the gates of hell, you will not return. It's a lie. I don't believe it. As a matter of fact, in Ecclesiastic, it says there's a time to live and a time to die. It is appointed. Everyone, every single individual that lives on this planet Earth have an appointment with death. 
As a matter of fact, death began to start slow walking people at the very beginning of the year. That's my that's my thought. That's not in the Bible. That's my thought. Death began to slow walk you. And every year takes a number. Especially around, I say, October, November is when you start seeing or hearing about celebrities passing away um, or people losing loved ones. People are going to die throughout the year. But around October, November, that's when you start really hearing about people passing away. Every year takes a number. And death will slow walk you. When you think that you, next year I'm going to do this and next year I'm going to do that and you don't make it to see next year. There are people that lived to say if their birthday was coming up. They lived until their birthday, the day of their birthday and that day they passed away or the day after or day before. So it's a pointed man wants to die. And after that, the judgment, there's no revolving doors in hell. So stop lying. Now, you might have had a near death experience, okay? And you might have had a vision or a glimpse of what appears to be hell. But once you enter those gates, there's no coming out. You are not coming back to tell someone hell exists. Right. And it could have been something that could have been a figment of your imagination. OK, could have been just a glimpse of where you're going to go. But yet you have not yet died. I recall. And it's really weird because there, there was a baby and it happened to a couple of people. I remember now whether this person actually physically died. I don't know. Maybe the doctors made a mistake, right? But there was a baby that died here locally. That baby was in the morgue in the hospital, right? And there was a cleaning person that was doing his rounds and he heard a noise. And the baby that was in the hospital morgue was alive, okay? after the doctors had pronounced that baby dead or deceased, okay? So the doctors can make mistakes, but there are people that allegedly died and medically or medically die, I'm going to say, and they brought them back. And when they came back, they were different. Okay, so did someone else's soul at that point enter that body, right? And these are just my thoughts, my ideas, because like I said, according to the Bible, it is appointed man wants to die. And after that, the judgment, you will be judged. There are no revolving doors in hell. So feedback, tell me what you think till next time. I'm fearless.